So, Chris gave me this bag of crackers, which was nice, but somehow they ended up mostly crumbled. I'm curious what kind of cracker they were, so I built a machine inspired by mass spectrometers to sort things out. That's what's up next on PS100. Here's how my contraption works. I put a handful of broken crackers into this opening, and then use the hairdryer to blow the pieces into these slots. Less force is required to move the lighter pieces, so they blow all the way down to these slots, and the heaviest pieces will end up in this slot, and the rest will sort themselves out in between. While that's running, we'll take a look at the inspiration for this machine, the mass spectrometer. While my machine sorts cracker pieces by mass, scientists use mass spectrometers like these to sort molecule pieces so they can figure out what sort of molecules are in whatever sample they've collected. Here's how it works. First, a mass spectrometer bombards the sample with high energy particles to bust up most of the molecules. Since our cracker sample came pre-pulverized, my machine doesn't have to do this. Then, all those pieces get shot down a tube toward a sensor. As with my cracker sample, the molecule pieces with less mass get shot further than the ones with more mass, so they naturally spread out and hit different areas on the sensor. The data collected by the sensor is represented on a graph like this. The x-axis shows the mass to charge ratio of the pieces, and since the charge of the fragments are usually plus one, that number is generally equal to the total mass of that fragment. The y-axis shows the quantity of fragments for each of the masses detected. The line on the right end of the x-axis is likely to be the molecule we started out with. But many different molecules have the same mass, so scientists use this sort of chart like a fingerprint, comparing the data from their mystery sample to other known samples. Once they find a match, the mystery is solved. It looks like this chart represents a sample where the heaviest pieces have a mass of 60. This turns out to match the mass of acetic acid, which we find by adding up the mass of the atoms that make up an acetic acid molecule. Now, let's see how things sorted out with our cracker crumbs. Where are the crackers? Uh, uh, Chris? Chris, did you eat them all? <laughs>